What's up, everybody? It's a conversational caveman, and we're gonna go kick boss's ass. But first, we need to use a humanity because I'm gonna be a little bitch, and I'm gonna summon somebody. This Halloween. This is for everybody who doesn't know. This is how you go human. You look all pretty and white. There, see? Don't look so ugly. So, let's go forth and smack some ass. Okay, so if you guys remember last video, I went through this area, cleared out, cleared it out, died once, but that's to be expected, because I suck. As I've said before, and we just run this way. Kill this little lizard guy. Ow. I guess. Now, there is a big iron giant right here. Run past him. Go all the way to the back. And summon. And stand back here, because sometimes he won't see you. And I don't want to fight him, because he's what killed me. Well, his brother is what killed me last time. And this is a summonable NPC, the Witch Beatrice. And we just go up here. Which usually fucks his shit up. <laughs> like that. We go up here. And we fight, excuse me, the next boss. Which is probably one of the most elegant and beautiful bosses in video game history. Where does she come from? Oh, there she is. The moonlit butterfly. Now, she flies around, and unless you have ranged, you're gonna get fucked. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I just used that. That's fine. Whatever. I'll use humanity. Move, move, move! Roll through it, because that makes sense. And after this piece of shit uses enough magic, it'll come in for a landing. But the Witch Beatrice is stupid powerful. And basically just kicks his ass. So, that's it. That was fun, right? Uh huh? Really awesome boss. Okay, bye! She disappears. We got the Moonlit Butterfly sword, uh, Soul, which you can use, craft different weapons, and shit like that. Or you could consume it and get souls. I like to collect them as trophies. Because I'm a sadistic son of a bitch and I love to see how many people I've killed. And we make our way up here. This destroyed tower. Find this guy who looks somewhat familiar. He looks like Andre of Astora. And he gives you the Divine Ember, which will help Andre craft different items. And he also gives you a hom Homeward Bone, which we'll use to go back. So that was the third boss, fourth boss, I guess, if you're considering the tutorial boss. And then we just make our way back. So, I'm thinking, after we make our way back, we're going to do something a little interesting. Something a little out of order, just because it can be fun. So, we fight these guys. Choppity choppity chop. Pick up moss clumps. Which I have to farm some of these guys before I. Oh, bye, bud. He died. But sadly, if he dropped any items, I'm fucked. Unless I want to restart and reload the area and just obnoxious stuff like that. Good, good. So I have two blooming purple moss clumps, which is. Not as many as I need for what I'm going to have to use them for. But, nonetheless. We run past this guy. I will kill him eventually. Unless I just forget. It's very possible. I usually just forget about him. 
early in the game it's just annoying to fight him and then late it, later in the game I forget oh then we talk to Andre oh, I, I remember you have there that's right I had to kill some before it's the ember of a divine blacksmith that's right might you consider leaving that with me I mean I produce divine weapons with a flame such as that sure go for it I have nice no use for it. You've made a fine decision. <clears throat> you may. Okay, so now he can modify weapons. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he can modify weapons. But you have to have weapons at a certain point. I don't remember exactly. I'll have to look that up if I even plan to do that. We rested this bonfire just in case I die. And we use our souls. I really want high equipment load so I can have better armor. Let's see if we can use the chest piece. Oh, definitely not that one. No! What the fuck? Whatever. That's fine. There we go. That's better. Okay, so now in my human form, I could get invaded by other players. Probably won't. I don't see why I would get invaded. Not many people I would assume are playing this anymore. Especially invading at such low levels. But you never know. You know, shit happens, right? And we're gonna go back to Firelink. Back out. And go back. I don't believe the rest of his people are here. Nope. So he's still useless, which is fine. He'll come into play later. Let me go this way. I don't want to take this one. Because it's easier with the other one. So we wait, we wait, we wait. Just smash the pot. See if I miss this item over here. I did. I did. I always do. It's just some souls. Small amount. Nothing too grand. We come back. And the elevator has arrived. There we go. Okay. Travel upwards. And roll. Now, over here is a little platforming. Now, this game can be a little tricky with the platforming, but if you time it right, name it right, you land fine. Then you're above Firelink Shrine. Gotta go down here. Undead Asylum Key. Now, if you don't remember, we were at the Undead Asylum at the very beginning of the game. That's like the tutorial area. So, if that's not an indicator of where we're going, then bear with me. Weird noises. We'll figure that out later. And go up here. So, we have to go back up there, do the platforming again, and we'll arrive at our destination. Going here. It's a little tougher with this one, but I'm impatient. Tougher just because you can easily walk off that, and then you have to wait. Kind of like that. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Can't let little things like that get to you. Or else you would not be able to play this game. Because then everything would get to you. Okay, just walk off. Come over here, do your fancy little jump again. Land perfectly. And then we go over, up, and over here. And instead of jumping up there, we take this staircase. Come over here. And find two nestled nutsacks. I'm just gonna become a nutsack, nut, a nut, with it. Now this, it's nice and comfy, you know. It's nice to just relax sometimes, take a load off. Probably a little thorny, but I mean, this is a pretty chaotic world, world, so you can't ask for much. And after resting for a while, we get this pleasant cutscene. And big raven 
servant of Velka, I assume, just because Velka's raven. A really cool shot of me and the claws. And we arrive back at the Undead Asylum. Back at the very beginning. Now, usually you'd want to go here a little later, but... Alright. Now, you'll notice that there's some new enemies. How very odd. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Just because these torch-wielding guys can fuck your shit up if given the opportunity. Oh. Oh! Oh! See? See? Like I said, that'll fuck your shit up, bro. And I'm back. Took a lot longer than I hoped it would. Actually, you know what? Let's block. That's one thing I don't ever do, is block. Too impatient, not smart enough to think that far ahead. Ha. Nope, nope, nope. Aha, aha. Suck my dick. Man. There we go. So we cleared them out. Well, we're gonna make a way this way. Heal one more time, just because we have tennis flasks, and we can. Let's read this. Oh. That's from the beginning. Now, this room is where we fought the boss, right? If you go into the middle of this room, it will fall through. It is a boss. It is the second boss in this area. But, if you come over here, you just rest. And we're gonna skip him for a little bit, because I don't like fighting him. And come across this eerie figure. The bane of my existence. One of the most fun enemies to fight, actually, in my opinion. Especially if you can get the parries. Now this is where I got good at fighting these guys. Because there's a lot of them. A lot of them around here. An obnoxious amount. Okay. So that didn't work. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Feeling better. Feeling good. You know. We're making progress. Okay. Okay. Nope. Gotta heal. Boom. Stab him in the nuts again. Is that death? That is. Got him. Got him. Got a shield, which is pretty awesome. I'm not going to use it because it's stupid heavy and I don't use shields. But, it's cool nonetheless. Proceed up here. We see a familiar figure. <gasps> it's the man who died. How sad. Hollowed turned into this deformed piece of shit that's gonna fuck me up because I don't do any damage to him for some reason oh that reach though uh -oh. wrong time to heal dodge well I gotta figure out a time to heal like now Boom, parry him, stab him in the gut. Rinse, repeat. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna attack. Just like straight up. Come on. I wasn't. <laughs> Whatever. Parry him again, stab him in the gut. <laughs> Bury him again. Stab him again. This is a good way to get through a lot of people if you can get good at parrying. And kill him. Put him to his final rest and get his shield, which is pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot something. Way, way back. We'll have to get that later. That really sucks. Whatever. It's no big deal. Come through here. Another bomb. Fire! And there's the, that passage, which... We're not gonna go that way yet. 
I think we're gonna rest here really fast. Get back up. Proceed. Descend down the ladder. Make your way this way. And we come to. Oh. Hold. And we come to the next Black Knight. Now, before we fight him, we look over here. <gasps> What's that? That's the next boss. It's just a reused assets. So you fall through the roof, land there, fight him. You can see a little ghosty guy fighting him. Probably getting his ass handed to him. This guy wants my nuts. Oh, and he's gonna have them on a silver fucking platter. Hail really fast. Parry him. <laughs> and we do this again. Parrying is key in this game. If you did not already realize. I'm just gonna come down here. Hello? Oh, 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 this makes me slower. That is not what I want to deal with. That's just stupid loud. Okay. Boom, Perry. Stab him right in the nuts. Every time. Like, this man cannot have kids anymore. And that is a sad, sad thing. Perry, stab him in the nuts. And once again... Parry, stab him in the nuts. And then because he has a sliver of health left, slash him. And try not to die, like a dumbass. <clears throat> now I'm getting chunks. I can't use chunks yet. <laughs> if that tells you how much further in this game than I, that I am than I should be. I think I said that right. Get the peculiar doll, which will be used later. Drink a little drink. Proceed onwards. Now, I need to remember. Oh, I remember. Pfft. What am I even talking about? Now, I'm not fighting this boss yet. I'll come back and fight him later. But, I came for a specific item. This item will be extremely useful <laughs> later on. Like, unbelievably helpful. I've never had it during the time that it's super helpful, but it is helpful. That's back, roll. Take a tiny bit of damage. And then back to these easy, easy guys. Clear them out, because we're so much better now. Even though I have the same armor. And somehow they're tougher, I think. Which is what it is. And just kill them. <laughs> and not roll, apparently. Kill him. And come in here when there's two knights now. Oh, and I only popped one of them. That's funny. Parry. Grab. And then, again... Parry. Stab. <laughs> Boom. Done. Now that we have the undead asylum key, we can actually go through this gate. Which is pretty awesome. And we come down here, and this item that eluded us from the beginning, and I didn't point out because I'm a dumbass. The rusted iron key. Now, ring, not key. Now, what that does is... Proves balance on poor footing. Now that doesn't make any sense. Just listening to that. Or just hearing that. But. Basically what it does is it makes you be able to run in water. Which for the next couple of things I'm going to do. That's going to be extremely helpful. And that's going to be it for me today. Guys. This has been fun. Love this game. Love all you. I'll see you next time.